Okay, uh, just fueled up in Goose Bay, uh, spent the night. Uh, very plain, small, simple town. Uh, time to uh, continue on northward to Kujuwak. Uh, gonna call clearance delivery right now and get a clearance. Good morning, Goose Bay clearance delivery. Mooney November 4361 at Woodward with Charlie. Ready to copy IFR. November 4361 Hotel, you're clear to the Kujiwak Airport, Goose Bay 3, departure, Squawk 7213. Morning 4361 Hotel is clear to the Kujiwak via the Goose Bay 3, departure, uh, Squawk 7213. 4361 Hotel, read back, correct contact, ground 1219, have a good day. Ground 121.9, 4361 Hotel, good day. 4361 Hotel, contact Goose Departure, 119 or decimal 5, airborne, the winds are calm, clear for takeoff, runway 34, good flight. 119 or decimal 5 for departure, airborne, uh, clear for takeoff, runway 34, 4361 Hotel, good day. Goose departure, buddy. Four three six one hotels off of uh, three four four hundred for eight thousand. Four three six one hotels radar identified. Climb uh, six thousand. Well controlled airspace. When uh, able, turn left. Direct Kujuak. Uh, direct Kujuak. Uh, climb maintain six thousand. Controlled airspace. Four three six one hotel. We're cruising en route uh, from Goose Bay to Kujuak. Uh, currently at eight thousand feet IFR. Still in the controlled airspace, but leaving into uncontrolled pretty soon. Uh, flying at north uh, westbound on a heading of uh, 340. Speed 130 knots indicated, 150 knots true airspeed. Using uh, 8.5 uh, gallons per hour, making about 64% power. Outdoor outside temperature 12 degrees uh, Celsius, and uh, that comes out to about 16 nautical miles per gallon. A ground speed of 136 knots, so uh, moving along uh, pretty well and uh, more importantly very economically. Uh, fuel in Canada is very expensive, but worse yet, it's sparse. Certain airports may not have it, so it's good to tanker enough gas to get to the next airport and then the following airport in case uh, gas is not available. Number 4361, Hotel Gannick. Again, yeah, everybody, November 4361, Hotel, go ahead. However, 4361 Hotel, Scanner, just be advised, I'll be losing you off this frequency in about another 30 to 40 miles. Uh, you're in uncontrolled airspace at this time, so you can monitor 126.7 and clear down route frequencies. 126.7, Booty November 4361 Hotel, we'll stay with you uh, while we have you. Good day. Yeah, that's fine. Traffic Advisory, Booty November 4361 Hotel, 90 miles northwest of Goose Bay. En route to Kujuwak, uh, IFR 8,000 feet. So right now we're 80 miles from Kujuwak uh, at 8,000. Just uh, reaching the uh, clearing where the clouds that we've been kind of in and out dodging for a while have uh, just uh, just ended right here and just got the weather at Kujuak that it should be a nice clear visual approach, uh, pretty straightforward. Going to give them another call on the radio, 30 miles out, getting ready to start the descent pretty soon. Kujuak Radio, Moody November 4361 Hotel is uh, 3030 miles uh, Southeast of the field on the tracking the 155 degree uh, radial Kujak and uh, 12 minutes out. Moon in November 4361 Hotel, Kujak Radio, hello again. Active runway 07, wind 120 at 5, altimeter 2984, traffic uh, right headed circuits, runway 07, a Cessna 172. Kujuak Radio, Mooney November 4361 Hotel, 7 out, uh, descending out of 1800. We'll be joining on the right downwind for runway 07. November 4361 Hotel, Kujuak Radio, Mooney November 
November 4361, uh, Hotel uh, Roger. The uh, Cessna 172 initial climb, uh, runway 07. Uh, they'll probably have a chance to uh, turn right downwind, and then you could follow them in uh, number two. Uh, we'll be looking and following the uh, Cessna uh, right downwind, winning November 4361 at all. Roger. And November 4361 Hotel, the Cessna 172 uh, just about to touch down uh, runway 07 and six miles to the east inbound, a, a twin otter, right base runway 31, uh, one minute after your arrival. Okay, November 4361, tell Roger, we have the uh, Cessna inside. Roger, and thank you. November 4361 uh, Hotel, your flight plan is closed, and uh, can you please confirm if you'd like uh, 8,000 feet for your uh, next leg to Akala? Morning, November 4361 Hotel, affirmative. Roger, thank you. Just arrived in Kujuak. Uh, it was a bit of a traffic jam. There was a Cessna practicing patterns in the in the tra touch and goes in the pattern, and then there was uh, a twin otter coming in right behind. But uh, somebody's really got to go to the bathroom, so we got to run. The buildings and their uh, heating tanks are built high up off the ground because of the permafrost. Uh, it's very important to uh, taxi out before all the passengers start disembarking from the 737, walking across the ramp and blocking the taxiway out. Could you walk radio, Mooney November 4361 Hotel. Mooney November 4361 Hotel, Good Radio, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mooney November 4361 Hotel is going to uh, Yankee Victor Bravo. Uh, I'd like to amend uh, flight line altitude to 9 or 1,000 feet. Uh, ready to take the IFR and uh, weather at uh, destination, please. November 4361 uh, Hotel, Quebec Radio, uh, Roger. Active runway 07, wind uh, 090 at 4, altimeter 2978. Traffic uh, on initial climb runway 07 for a right handed circuit, runway 07 at full stop, a Cessna 172, and a 2 miles in a right base runway 07 at Twin Otter for a stop and go as runway 07. And November 4361 Hotel, uh, Quebec Radio, advise intended only. When November 4361 Hotel, uh, request backtrack to 07. 61 Hotel, uh, Roger, and uh, would you like to commence your backtrack uh, after the departure of the uh, next twin other? I'll try and slot you in before the arrival of the Cessna 172. Uh, yeah, if we can get in before the Cessna, if that's enough time. Roger. And November 4361 Hotel, I have your clearance. November 4361 Hotel, go ahead. ATC clears November 4361 Hotel to the Cowwood Airport. That's the Charlie Foxrod, correction, Charlie Yankee of Foxrod Bravo. By the Kujuak Airport, Charlie Yankee Hotel Alpha. Climb 9000 while in controlled airspace. Squawk 4266.
twenty November four three six one hotel is turning around now, ready for departure. November 4361 Hotel, Kujak Radio, uh, Roger. Traffic about to turn uh, three mile final for runway uh, 31, uh, showing over the threshold in two minutes. Wait, November 4361 Hotel, Roger, we're on a roll. Roger. Currently en route from uh, Kujuak to uh, Iqualian uh, via Guactag. And an interesting thing is uh, on the map it shows the picture of the uh, plane going westbound. So the true course is westbound. However, the uh, magnetic course is actually eastbound um, of a heading of a 012 degrees. So even though it shows us going west, we're going magnetic. east. So the map it shows us going westbound. Uh, Compass actually shows us going eastbound direction, and that's the reason why I'm actually at 9,000 feet going west, but magnetic east. Calvin Radio, Muni November 43610. Tell what are your current ceilings, and have the other aircraft been making it in on the RNAV 16? The ceiling right now. Um Around 900 feet, and with some scattered stuff lower, around three to 400, and I've had no overshoot. Amber 610 Hotel, I don't want to send you too far away from the airport. If you can reduce a bit, what's your uh, indicator of speed now? 130 knots and reducing 4361 Hotel. Amber 610 Hotel, uh, reduce to uh, 110, 110 knots. 110 knots, 4361 Hotel. November 6 one Hotel, my 737 is presently 6 miles final for runway 34, so we're in sequence to the dam. I'll have lower for you at around just as uh, you join in down there, uh, 1 or 2 miles inside. Morning, November 4 three, six, one Hotel, roger. 6-1 Hotel, descend 3000. Leaving 4000, descending to 3000, morning, November 4 three, six, one Hotel. And uh, November 4361 Hotel, the uh, traffic's on the ground. You are cleared for the RNAV, only 16 approach. Clear for RNAV, 16 approach, morning November 4361 Hotel. November 4361 Hotel, contact account radio, 122.2. Small, uh, two. Uh, you can maintain any speed you wish. Uh, re move out uh, speed restriction and contact uh, radio, morning November 4361 Hotel, good day. Hello, radio, morning November 4361 Hotel, one mile from ATAP. Uh, Inbound on the RNAV 16. Roger, runway 16, wind 1605, altimeter 29084. You can plan exiting at Golf. Plan to exit at Golf 29084, Monday, November 43610. Okay, just got the runway and sucked right through those clouds. Uh, still tracking the GPS inbound because I might lose the runway as we come through the clouds. And then should be able to have it make a landing. Pretty much uh, RNAV approach right to minimums here and to uh, the Galloway.
That is the same uh, Boeing 737 that uh, landed as we were departing from Iqaluit, from Kujuak to Iqaluit. Then he took off after us and got to Iqaluit before us, and now he's departing already. All right, well, that was an RNAV approach into uh, Iqaluit, uh, not quite, but almost down to minimums. Uh, about 800 uh, scattered layer and about 1,300 uh, overcast. Uh, had to really play with the speed there and work our way in. Now it's time to get out and park the plane, go get wet. So that was a bit of a challenge, but uh, no icing, no uh, trouble. Hopefully they'll have the fuel here for us, but if not, I got just enough to be able to get out of here. It's uh, almost freezing and rainy. All right, just uh, got into Callowit. The whole uh, episode here, it was uh, IFR, low overcast. Shot the GPS LPV approach. Not quite, but close to minimums. Uh, heavy rain on the ground. Uh, had to park the plane. That, that ended up being the easy part. Yeah, after that, uh, we'll go to the FBO and ask about our gas. He said they don't have gas. We, we called in this morning, we were told there's two barrels left. Go to the FBO, they say there's no gas at all. So that's a problem to start. Um, but then it turns out that the FBO doesn't sell the gas, the fuel company does, not the FBO. Call them, they're, they're holding onto our barrels, so we do have one of the two remaining barrels left for our flight out of here. Okay, problem number one solved. That took uh, half an hour, an hour, but we got that under control. We'll get the gas tomorrow morning. Then to make matters worse, there's no way out of the FBO. There's no gate to walk out from the FBO to the street. There's no uh, way from the FBO except through the airport. But you're not allowed to walk on the airport un unescorted. And the FBO, since we're not their customers, or we couldn't be escorted by them. What services they provide if they don't provide gas, uh, we're not really sure about. But uh, so we had to uh, just walk across the heavy raining airport uh, uh, unescorted just ourselves and then exit through the uh, security gate and then walk back into the terminal from the outside. Um, got chewed out a little bit by uh, security afterwards uh, for not having the proper um, yellow vest attire for uh, walking on the ramp. They said, well, I have my uh, high visibility blue jacket, and they said, okay, but your passenger doesn't. I said, oh, I was escorting the passenger. But uh, that ended up being the hardest part, uh, flying the uh, instrument approach in near freezing conditions and down near to minimums uh, on our very rainy runway. Manageable, got that done. Getting around on the airport ended up being one of the most uh, mismanaged and uh, you know difficult to get out of airports I've been to since uh, Cuba. So more updates about Iqaluit soon, but really rainy weather, uh, very cold, uh, pretty uh, difficult place to visit. It's, uh, it sure is cold in Iqaluit. Uh, finally the rain stopped and uh, the temperature dropped even more. It's almost freezing and it's in the middle of July. Igloo shaped church. Callaway is the capital of Nanavut territory, and this is the legislative building.